Well, hello everyone, my name is Prime, and welcome back to another episode of ATS Showcases. Man, am I happy to be able to say that again. I've been off with a bit of an illness that's really been affecting my voice, so it's been hard to do these episodes. That's why there's been a little bit of a hiatus from that. But nonetheless, we are here in this Kenworth T600 mod that, of course, will be linked down in the description below, along with JC Amateur's uh, sound effects that I'm using today. But this Kenworth T600 actually comes with an engine mod of its own. So this T600 actually does have quite a few options, and the mod overall is quite solid from what I can tell. You've got multiple different chassis configurations, if you want to just do day cab to super sleeper stuff, all there, I guess this is technically the chassis, even so you've got a few different options there. And this is what I mean by the engines. So the truck itself, the mod, as far as I can tell, comes with a Z-Mod Cummins N14, well, quite obviously, and I'm using the 525 horsepower variant today. Uh, and of course, I have also still installed JC Amateur's uh, engines mods and stuff like that, so that's why those are showing up. But these are the mods that actually come with, or the engines, I should say, that come with the mod itself. So keep that in mind as well. So at least there's some really good engine sounds, which you'll hear in just a second. Transmissions, I'm just running the 13 speed today. I think that's what it defaulted to whenever I was doing the configuration. And of course, the interior, you've got more of your standard Kenworth uh, couple options here. And when it comes to the outside, you've got some various options when it comes to bumpers and chrome details and all that good stuff that you can find on a lot of mods. All right, just before I get this truck started up, we are here in Boise, Idaho, taking some fruit juice down to Elko. I don't think I've ever pulled uh, one of these fruit container or juice container tanker th whatever things. Uh, I don't think I've ever hauled one of them. They're in ATS stock, uh, but I've never, uh, I've never actually hauled them. So I'm going to do that today. Enjoy that. But you guys really want to hear this truck. I actually do as well. Let's start this thing up. Pretty half decent air horn on it as well. Let's go ahead, put it in the gear, and roll out of here. Hopefully, everyone is doing well. I am feeling a whole lot better. As I mentioned to at the beginning of the episode, I have been battling a bit of an illness, and unfortunately, that illness basically made it impossible for me to speak. I, my mouse and my voice was pretty much just gone. <laughs> my mouse was in a lot of pain, and my, uh, but my my voice was pretty much just gone. So. That really put a bit of a damper in the episodes. It, I, it was actually the morning just after recording the last Farming Simulator video, also known as the last longer video you guys have seen on this channel, um, or longer-ish at least. Uh, I, I became so, so sick. I just could not, um, I could just not, I could not do it. I could not talk for any length of time, couldn't really do any commentary. I guess I can thank my lucky stars that when it came to Prime News, it was pretty light <laughs> over the last little bit, uh, so that is always good. But there were a few things uh, that came out. First of which, when it was act when I was still really not feeling well, was the uh, Heart of Russia gameplay video, which I did not want to miss out on. But that was probably one of the longest uh, attempts for me to make a Prime News video even though it was one of the shortest talking bits I have ever done. Uh, luckily I didn't... Okay, is it just not going to shift on me today? I guess because if we're going uphill. It is a decent amount of weight. I think it's... Uh, 46... Yeah, 46,000 pounds. So it's pretty good weight in this truck, I do have to say. Uh, but nonetheless, that Prime News video uh, of the Heart of Russia... Uh, the, Heart, the Heart of Russia gameplay video was definitely a hard little bit of commentary to do, and that's why I sounded very depressed, and that's why I put the little... <laughs> disclaimer in the top of the description for those who were potentially concerned. Uh, but I'm doing a whole lot better as you can tell. I'm talking quite smoothly or at least as smooth as I, as I can generally be. And as of late, it's really gotten better uh, very, very quickly. So I am now able to do this once again because I seriously do enjoy doing these things. And it's really good that I am getting better because there were some pretty good uh, news things that came out for ATS as well uh, in this time span. And yeah, it was. I I wanted to. I made it work with some of the prime news. A few of them were better than others. Um, and I was also busy, so that would explain why there was also a little bit of a hiatus uh, around there. But nonetheless, I am back, and let's get talking about some of the stuff that has come out in the 
Prime News stuff or just eight various things that SEO Software has released. First and foremost, I'm going to talk about one of the most recent things, which is the 1.44 first blog post on it, and more specifically, the new transport, uh, the special transport routes for those who have the special transport or heavy haul, whatever they call it, uh, DLC. They're bringing eight new routes in 1.44, which is very, very neat indeed, uh, across multiple of the states. So go ahead and check that video out if you want to know what those routes are. In particular, I I like to say I have a pretty good memory for stuff, but those are eight different routes with, what, 16 different cities in or towns uh, that I, I can't remember all of them. Uh, I, <laughs> so I'm not that good, people. I'm not that good. And I unfortunately didn't put that in my notes for today. So, and nonetheless, we are, that's that. So when it came to 1.44, it is nice to have uh, at least one portion of the update, uh, something confirmed that is coming in 1.44. I would like to hope that possibly part of the California reskin project, maybe phase two or part of it will be uh, releasing as well. That was the next thing. There was a blog post and I can't remember how I've talked about this in one yet because I'm getting my timelines maybe a little bit uh it's a little foggy there let's just say that uh but as far as i am aware uh i haven't talked about this the second or i i i, I guess it's second or maybe even third blog post on the california reskin road networks uh but it's technically <laughs> labeled california reskin uh or revamp road network number one so i guess it'd be second one uh but this is for phase two for people who are kind of confused as far and honestly i was a bit confused as well uh that is phase two and i mean it's looking really really great as well some of the various uh overhauls and the additions and well in all honesty the ground up kind of revamp of basically all that area especially with uh, i guess san rafael is going bye-bye uh they're <laughs> they're getting rid of that uh getting the town or city of san rafael getting rid of that and adding a new one uh in i guess third or possibly even fourth stage uh so that's <laughs> that's the news there i guess when it comes to the road networks and then there was also a montana uh, guess where we are blog post uh, obviously as the name can tell uh, as you can if you can kind of take a guess and if you haven't seen the prime news video I'd highly recommend you go check that out uh, it essentially just explained or not ex not even explained it basically gave a ton of screenshots and let's see if this truck can actually pull us away come on here truck it tried to it basically gave us a whole whack of teaser screenshots and gave us a chance to try and guess where in Montana some of those screenshots were located. Now you guys were a huge help in the comments section as did I miss my turn? I couldn't have missed my turn. Did I? No, I didn't miss my turn. Okay, GPS is just messing me up. Go with the road signs, Prime. You've got it. <laughs> I don't know what it's trying trying to think I'm doing here, unless if the mod is all messed up. I have no idea. I gotta sit here through the light, so I'll continue yabber jabbing about uh, my, uh, <laughs> my my not non knowledge, I guess I should say, of Montana. So you guys were a huge help on that. Thank you so much for uh, some of the input. Some people who uh, who of course live there, and then some people who've just been to the area and recognized some of the landmarks. So that was a massive help. Uh, so I do thank you guys a lot for the input on that one. But yeah, it, when it comes to the future of ATS, it is looking really great. And when it comes to even this year, well, we still don't really know what the situation is with Texas. Uh, I think a lot of us really want Texas to be in this year. And as far as I know, it's supposed to be, uh, or at least that's what the target is. I do believe SES Software has uh, kind of hinted at that. Now, that is kind of more spe speculative, but that is to be or I don't want to say expected but that is that is what is the goal is at least as far as I am aware uh, now we do also have Montana in the mix at some point so I, I, as far as I know it is Texas and then Montana they have explicitly said in a few occasions that it's Texas and then Montana or at least in some cases it's uh, when Montana was released it's the state coming or after Texas that's how the kind of they launched it so we do know Texas is next it's just a matter of when 
and 1.44. A few of you pointed it out actually um, in the comments uh, over the last, or I guess on that Prime News, and then a few other messages from people in the Discord and stuff like that uh, direct to me, uh, saying that there is a good chance 1.44 will be actually the main compatibility update for the Heart of Russia DLC on the ETS2 side, because for those who are not aware, both Euro Truck Simulator 2 and American Truck Simulator, as of oh, quite a few updates ago, have been updating on the exact same schedule. They, Their game versions uh, run very, very similar to each other. Well, actually similar. They are the, the one... 1.43 is the latest release on Euro Truck Simulator 2. It is the latest release on American Truck Simulator. And the features generally that they bring to both games are identical, if not very, very similar, depending on what the what the specific, er, what the specific, let's see if I can say this properly. What the particular game requires, there we go, I'm still getting my tongue back working after having basically a week and a bit of barely talking, so... I do apologize if <laughs> if I'm a little rusty on some things, uh, but nonetheless, that's the reason why that people are believing that the 1.44 update, especially on the American Truck Simulator side, will just bring a few extra features, possibly some bug stuff, uh, but just kind of it's more of a compatibility and just number update, I guess you could say, uh, for the Heart of Russia DLC release that is expected to be sometime, uh, so hopefully over either over summer or just prior to summer, uh, because it is coming along quite nicely. Obviously, we have the first official gameplay uh, video that, of course, I did that Prime News on, or at least I struggled to try and do that Prime News on, and uh, that's a really good sign that the DLC is in its final stages of development, that they're actually doing full-on deliveries between towns and putting it out here for us uh, so that is really nice to see and that is something why or that is the reason why some people are thinking 1.444 ATS may not be a completely content pack but we still don't know uh, 1.44 very well could be a massive update like we've seen with some of the other uh, just normal game updates which of course are all free um, but yeah, it is uh, it is really cool to have 1.44 in the mix uh, now officially confirmed at least. Uh, we did we did know that it was coming at some point. Just seeing that there's actually a feature that's confirmed to come in it, which is always nice to see here. Uh, it's been actually quite a while. It's just jumping jumping ships here. It's been actually quite a, well, quite a while since I've been in this area, like kind of southern Idaho area into. Uh, I guess we go. Are we going into Nevada? I think we're Nevada going into Nevada, right? Yeah, we are. I got my states right. <laughs> Look at me go. It's almost like I've done this for a little bit now. Yeah, yeah, I have. <laughs> I have been doing this for a little while now. Uh, maybe a little longer than I'd like to admit, but uh, nonetheless, <laughs> word of the day is nonetheless, I've found. Uh, but, anyways, we'll do that instead. Uh, this mod actually is quite nice. It's, it's actually really quite a nice truck. And when it comes to the engine sounds, I have turned down the engine uh, slider in game because I did. Uh, I, that was pointed out to a few uh, by a few people that the last few videos in ATS, especially the engine noise, has been really clipping on some things. Now keep in mind, uh, I do keep, try and keep stuff leveled, and that engine brake. I forgot that it was Zmod. I completely forgot. At least I, I believe it's Zmod. I do apologize if it's not Zmod's engines, but and it's someone else's. But as far as I am aware, that is Zmod's comes M14. I think it is. I mean, considering in the editor or I guess or the configurer page, uh, it does have ZM before it, and as far as I can remember, that's what the Zmod engines always show. Uh, but yeah, that engine brake is quite spicy, isn't it? Yeah, it's quite nice. And it's not clipping, unless if you guys have your speakers or headphones very loud, or I completely mess up the audio processing in editing, it should all be fine. Uh, I do, uh, I, obviously I don't do any EQing or anything like that, uh, but I do run a compressor uh, on the final output track. Uh, of just the game audio because I do record audio, my voice and game separately and then 
combine them in editing so that's why i can keep things uh very much clean and proper balances of stuff no matter what the mod is because so many different engine mods have various outputs no matter what the slider is set some of them just have a really hot uh, soundtrack to them and then some of them uh, are quite quiet so that's why the slider will change depending on the mod that i uh, in truck or whatever i do but sometimes i forgot to change it back and then it affects other mods and i don't notice it necessarily because of the volume i use my headphones uh, so i can hear myself talk and uh, be able to continue on uh, conversations with you guys without just drowning myself in diesel engine noise uh, and yeah it's uh, when it comes to editing then i will notice this end but it's kind of too late and i don't want to just scrap a complete episode especially uh given the time that i generally have to record these um i, I enjoy what i do doing this but uh unless if the video itself is really choppy or the audio is just gone uh completely i'm not gonna throw away the video just because there's every here and there an audio clip uh, from the engine and when I put it into editing it's really hard to tell uh, unless if you run headphones and speakers uh, and just I don't know if you if you have it louder or you you, you just think it's possibly clipping but it's maybe just a higher rpm kind of backfire or like yeah I, I, I don't know but nonetheless uh, that was pointed out and I did notice it I had been aware of it but thank you for those who had noticed it out or uh, noticed it so I have adjusted it so hopefully it's better for this episode it looks like it's better on my audio meter uh, but I do have limiters and stuff so the clip itself never actually um, well or how should I say this the, the recording itself will never actually clip uh, it's only the in-game audio um, it is the in-game kind of mixer slash uh, output that happens within the application that then, uh, in my case, OBS picks up. It's that that can actually clip itself, uh, but OBS will never clip my editing. In editing, it will never clip uh, I, because, like I said, in, my, in editing, I make that track has a compressor on it to make sure that uh, just the smaller noises such as just you know indicators or various things in cabs you guys can pick that up a little bit better without being completely drowned out um, by the exterior volume the other thing is the uh, when I'm idling or stopped at a stop sign you guys can still hear um, some of the noises that the truck will make but it's it, and it keeps it, it just a better window overall. And of course I have limiters on all my audio anyway, so then it can never physically clip, uh, especially my voice, will never clip itself, uh, and same as the audio. So it's only if the in-game audio is set too high and the game itself kind of clips the audio, uh, not my recording software. So that's the situation there, but overall i think it should be better today it's sounding okay in my headphones right now so i'm hoping it sounds fine later when i edit this but uh, nonetheless <laughs> here we go is that number four or number three for uh, nonetheless old i guess that's probably number four uh anyways we are following this guy and he's going really slow i don't like it i like to go fast i'm a racer i'm actually not but uh <laughs> i've been doing i have been attempting to do some more racing because the one thing that was happening was this illness I had uh, which was just really kind of an annoying throat kind of lose your voice like a little bit it's just painful to talk really um, it you know, I, I could still you know do gaming and stuff I it, it, it's just, uh, I mean I wasn't feeling well for quite a bit of time uh, but overall it's not like i i could do anything i wasn't bedridden i mainly just couldn't talk which was difficult in its own so i was able to actually experiment quite a bit on the farming simulator stuff uh that takes quite a bit of time uh because i was um, off uh, work and stuff like that uh for a lot of that period and uh i was able to do stuff um 
just not do commentary. I was considering doing time-lapse episodes, especially on the farming simulator side of things. Or I was at one point even considering doing like an ASMR trucking video where I don't do any commentary and just do a delivery from point A to point B and it's all just engine sounds. Actually, comment down below if you'd like to see that. I may do that every here and there, especially when there's... Uh, I've done already a commentary video on a mod, but you just want to hear the engine noise or just ever here and there chuck one in. Uh, I think it'd be really actually kind of neat to do, um, but let me know if you want to see that, because uh, if you don't, I mean, obviously, I won't necessarily do it if no one wants it, but I, I'm pretty sure some of you would like to go and maybe watch the delivery uh, and listen to some sounds uh, and not have me yabbering in the background. I know some of you uh, would prefer me to stop talking at times. So there, I stopped talking. So then you, you uh, have your moment of no no prime talking. <laughs> I'm just joking. I, I do try and but do a balance, but I know quite a few of you like the commentary and uh, say that I've uh, that you you actually like my commentary the most out of anyone that uh, you see on YouTube, which is a huge compliment. And uh, thank you guys uh, for all your support. Obviously, we're continuing to grow here. <laughs> due to the bit of quietness when it comes to, well, me not being able to put out as many videos, I guess, as I normally do, uh, or when it comes to the various kind of just not as much massive news from SCS software, uh, there's a little bit of a slower period, and this uh, is a stereotypically a little bit uh, quieter a period uh, on YouTube. Uh, but nonetheless, it is, uh, don't lay real, number five, uh, <laughs> it is still, uh, it, it's, it's still really great to see uh, channel doing well and you guys uh, enjoying what I put out. It's always nice to see it. It's just, it's overall just good encouragement. Uh, it means that you guys are enjoying what I'm doing and uh, the Prime Timer community is nice and strong. We're pulling in the wall, Bert. I can't believe I pulled that off. First delivery back, doing commentary, and I've actually managed to do that semi-successfully. Uh, others are saying, nevertheless, I don't know, six or seven times now. Who knows? I s yeah. We're here. That's all that matters. Okay, so why don't we go ahead and let the flashers on so then people know we're pulling around here. I will shut it off when we go to reverse just so that it's not so incredibly annoying. Uh, oh, actually, this probably won't be too hard of delivery. Luckily, it's a pretty quiet day here at the uh, the receiving, or I guess this is actually delivery. Uh, this uh, at the uh, depot. Yeah, it's quite it's quiet day at the depot. Uh, we're gonna turn off the flashers here, so then it's not so stinking annoying. Listen to the questionable engine uh, or reverse beeping, uh, which just just sounds like there's an air leak periodically in the. In, in the braking system, but I'm not going to judge. The rest of the sounds are great. That is the only maybe critique that some of us have. Oh, I am hitting the fence. Ah, uh, great. Okay. Well, this is what I get for not doing any form of delivery really in that span. A little rusty on my trucking skills. Let's see if I can clean this up here. Problem is I'm at a pretty... I didn't get the angle right at all. So we gotta... I think I'm gonna have to kind of overdo her here. Well, actually, I may have helped it. Let's see if we can get her around, and I may just have to do... <laughs> I'm gonna have to do an other end of reverse, isn't it? Yeah, I yeah. am. Oh, for Pete's sake, I don't like doing blindside reversing, but I'm gonna have to do her. Okay, well, let's go like this. Maybe a little bit like that. Yeah, this isn't gonna be good. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna give her a try. I don't know what's gonna happen. That's the wrong way, Prime. Get 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 your brain in gear here. Uh, I can barely even see where my bit is. Let's go to the exterior view. Let's see if I'm. Well, it's potentially salvageable. I'm gonna just do this exterior view. Yeah, I'm gonna just finish this off exterior view. Sorry for those who are gonna get mad. You're gonna be. It's not realistic, Prime. You can't have a drone while reversing. Well, you know what. Give me a break, okay? <laughs> I've had a long week. I'm still not doing this. Oh, this is just falling apart. Okay, well, here we go. Maybe we can get this now if I straighten up. Okay. You know what? It's all these episodes that, you know, for those who stick to the end... I'm going to do this in, from here now. Um, 
This is the kind of brilliant content you guys get uh, from me. Get to see my absolute meltdown of a reverse. Am I almost in? I've got to be almost in. I mean, it's nowhere straight, but I mean, it's got to be half decent. There we go. Finally. <laughs> Good livings. It only took me 45 years to do it. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching that episode. It's nice to be back here on ATS Showcases. It's a really nice mod. I know I didn't necessarily talk about it maybe as much as I should, uh, but it is actually, the T600 It is quite actually a, a nice mod. I would recommend it. Everything seems to work quite nicely on it. I don't see any bugs, uh, graphically at least, and uh, performance-wise it didn't hint or anything. Uh, so that is always nice when a mod doesn't, you know, absolutely tank your performance. Uh, but nonetheless, there we go, number eight or nine now. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.